the principle that I'm trying to teach my children here is the same one that I learned. And, and I already have tears. I'm such a, so emotional about things like this. If we are called to be Christians, we are called to actually respond to things that we're aware of. Emily Hutchings learned about social justice from her mother, Jackie Bridges, a member of United Methodist Women for more than 40 years and the dean of Mission U in the Florida Annual Conference. One of the roles of parents, I think, is to pass on values, and John Wesley's whole deal was social justice. Um, it's why it, it's actually why there is a Methodist church today and I wanted them to know so that they could remember that the world didn't revolve around them. The two women brought their family to protest for farm workers' rights in Lakeland, Florida. You can hear me make some noise. The world is our brothers and sisters, so the farm workers know they're not our friend at school, or they're not our co-worker, but they are our brothers and sisters in Christ. Some FOMOs are like being treated mean, so we're going to help them not tr be treated mean. I feel about United Methodist Women that even though I'm the child, that I could still be part of it. Even though I'm a young child and I'm six, I can even be a woman, too. Shelley Davidson hopes to pass on the legacy of social action in the UMW that she learned from her mother and great-grandmother. We have to educate our children so that they're going to be able to carry on what, what we're laying out before them. We've got to keep taking them to events such as today and, and showing them what good United Methodist Women is doing. This is a legacy that started with my grandmother. I always went with her when she did the cooking. You know, she cooked for 200 people. I went and I helped. And I think it has a tendency to hopefully rub off on my family that's my grandchildren that are coming up. For these United Methodist Women members, love in action is a way of honoring Jesus and each other. I want my mom to know that when she um, is no longer here, that her work will still continue, not only through me, not only through my sister, but through her granddaughter and her grandson. The United Methodist, the women are trying to stand up for like other people. This has all reminded me of a couple of songs. When you're gone, who will sing? When you're gone, who will sing your song? I know who will be singing my song and God's song when I'm gone.